Hi everyone, welcome back to your onboarding series. And in this video, I wanna show you how to use the weekly review in your projects, areas, and goals. Now, the most obvious place I've done this in the past is in this view here. Uh, within the projects page. And what you can do with it is every time you generate a project, it will give you the current day as your last review date. Now let's say that that was last week and it will set the review frequency to seven. So every week, seven days, you can see review frequency in days. And that means that when the date passes, it will say that it is due for review. It also means that if you now go back to the uh, projects dashboard, you'll see under weekly review, a project is due. And the idea of this is based on David Allen's getting things done method. You set a review date and then as, as long as you keep the habit, it will mean that you can go into your projects, look through your tasks, progress, information, see how you're getting on with it. And when you're happy, you can mark it as reviewed and it will update and then it will come back to you when you need to see it again. I would propose that you absolutely make sure you take some time to build this habit. It's the thing that maintains a system like this above all else, in my opinion. Now, you'll see here in the complete Notion Life OS, I have a weekly review page. And this also shows us the content channels if you are working with content in the wider bundle and goals that are due, as well as all of your life areas that you can look over and reflect on. So this is a, a really dedicated area. I'm going to show you how to use it in general, but also I want to just let you know that if you downloaded this before the public release, then you may actually not have in your Notion Life OS the weekly review view. And so to get you guys to understand a little bit more in depth about how this weekly review system actually works and how I built it, so maybe you can apply it to other areas of your template or however you're using Notion, I want to also demonstrate how I made it. And if you want to add a full weekly review area to Notion Life OS, if it's not in there, you'll be able to do that. First off, using it. I would propose that you set yourself a reminder in your calendar to come back and look at this every week. Now I think with goals, I think it's probably best to be doing goals if we look at the template for a new goal and edit it. You'll see I've set it for last review date today, that's how it works, and set review frequency as 14 days, so every two weeks. So projects are every week, goals every two weeks. And if you wanted to add this into your areas database, you'd also be able to do that by the end of this video. So what I'm going to now do is in the actual life OS, this is just before it goes public, I'm going to update it in front of you. So let's do it. So first of all, so I'm going to put that in because I think it's not unhelpful. The first thing to do is let's set up a little weekly review um, page and it gives you an understanding of the template. So in dashboards, I want to go and create a new dashboard. I'm going to do forward slash page. Now, if you want to just grab a coffee and watch this, it might be a nice way to understand how the wider system works as well. I'm going to create a new page and we're going to call it, we're going to add an icon. I'm going to add a custom icon rather than a punch bag. Go to my icon packs. If you're wondering where these come from, you should see a uh, PDF or you can go to bettercreating.com and find the uh, Notion icon packs and you can download these if you want to add your own icons in the same style. Uh, let's go to, what color are we doing? Purple for this kind of stuff. So into purple and I was using a computer. Nice. We'll open that. I'm going to add a cover. Now, if you're interested, you can go to change cover, unsplash. I just type in white because I quite like my templates in simple white. And I go for this Drew Beamer image every time. Just keeps a nice clean look. We're also going to make this full width. Now, if we go back to Notion Life OS, we're probably going to want our menu. So I'm going to duplicate that and click move to and send it to the weekly review. And while we're here, let's drop it in somewhere useful under life areas. One, two, three to drop a line. We're going to do forward slash tog h2, which will create a toggle heading h2. And we're going to go at and find the weekly review page that we just created. 
and reference it. And there it is, right? I actually maybe will make that, rather than it be a toggle, I think it's better if it's just a page. So I'm just going to make it a normal heading and I'm going to align it so it looks clean. Great. So if we now jump back in, we can see that we've got our menu in there. We can drop that in where we want it. I'm going to do two columns and drop this into the first column. And that means we can then move that across and we've got a nice view here. So what do we want? First of all, we want a tog heading two, and we're going to call this projects due. And then we're going to do the same again. Goals due. And then we're going to do again, all life areas, because I think it's good just to look at all of those. Now in all life areas, I'm going to do forward slash table and find a table view, find the life areas database, and I want the areas overview. We could sort by life area, so that they're in alphabetical order. So there's our life areas in place. We've got our weekly review view for projects. So in here, you could go forward slash table. Doesn't matter what view it is, you just have to find the projects database. And we want due for review. There it is. Sorted. Let's just double check we're on the right one. We are. Great. So that's projects and areas sorted. And there's your page. Now, if what I'm going to do is just actually copy across my explanation, we'll go to it. And there it is. So if you want to pause the video for a moment, this is the moment to do it. And you can just copy down that information. So the only thing left to do now is actually teach you how to create the actual weekly review system and show you how it works. So let's jump into that now. Let's go to our goals database in the complete Notion Life OS and take a look at what's going on. So if we open it up, what you'll see is we have a last review date, a set frequency. And if we open up more properties with all the kind of the stuff that works in here, you'll have a next review formula and it will give us the new date, which creates that date. And then we have a review over due formula, which essentially says if next review is less than today, then we'll need to review it. So I'm going to create this now, first of all, and then we'll create the report in a little bit. So first of all, we need a last review date. So we're going to go into our goals database, open up a goal view, and let's add them in. So the first thing is add a property, and let's add a start date. And we're going to call this last review date. Okay. Let's move that up. Property visibility always show. Great. What would be really good actually would be to go into your default template for the database and open it and edit it. And we'll do it in there. And then what we can do within that is set it to today. The next thing is we need our review frequency. So that's going to be a number property. So we're going to come in and add a number property. And we're going to call this uh, set review frequency in days. There you go. And we're going to drop that in up here. And I want it to be for my goals every 14 days. Next, we're going to need the two formulas. So we're going to create a new formula. And we're going to call this one next review, move that up to here. So what you will do is come in here and you'll go add date. Date add there it is sorry, into here, you're going to do find the last review date, comma, review frequency, set review frequency, and then you do comma, open parentheses, and write days, close the parentheses. And you should if it's empty like that, it should mean it works. Great. So that's right, because it's in a template. And in fact, we can come out of the template now to make sure this is working. So let's just open up our example goal. If we make our last review date Friday, set our frequency to 14, we then see the next review date 
comes up. Now I want to hide that property. So we're going to say always hide because we don't need to see it in here. And we need to add one more formula. So let's add another formula. And this is going to be review, review overdue. And we're going to edit the formula and we're going to go next review. Less than, and then we're going to find today save. Now it should mean that if we keep an eye on this, if we drop that up there so we can see, and we adjust this to above 14 days, that gets ticked. So that's working. So we can now always hide that property. Great. So now the only thing left to put in is the report. And to do that, I would propose that what you do is you copy it from the project version you've already got. So you're going to go back to your Notion Life OS, go to projects and click on any one of these reports. And you should see down the bottom, you want all of the stuff that deals with reviews. So it's if last review date down to the review overdue in red, and it should just work. So let's copy all of that, jump to our goals database and click on our page. And then in our report, open it up and down the bottom, you can put it where you want to put it. But I'm going to put it right down the bottom, V, paste it in and just check that all of the things drop in. So here you can see this isn't dropped in correctly. So we want that little section there to be set review frequency and it's working. Okay, let's save it. And there is our review list. Now, if you want to separate it from the rest, you just want to make sure that the last review section has a little space in it. Just save that. And there you go. There is your report. Now, all that's left to do is create a functioning due for review section for goals. But why don't we just do that in the main uh, weekly review database? Now, if you wanted to add a button for this, what you could do is do that as well first, though. So let's just add one more property and we're going to add a button and we're going to write mark as reviewed edit the automation and we want the label to be mark as reviewed as well add an action when it's clicked you want to edit a property and you want to edit last review date to the date triggered and save it Let's make sure that that property is always shown and let's move it up to above achieved, hide the properties. And now if we press this, you'll see it updates it. So we know that's working. Wonderful. So back to the goals database. If you want to do this, you could just go into your homepage of your goals and just add your review button. So go to properties. Down to the bottom, you'll have, you'll have a button somewhere here, Mark is reviewed, show it, pop it in where you want it. There you go, happy with that. And then we're going to go to home. We're going to go to our weekly review. And in here, we're going to get a view of the goals. So you want to do table view. There's the goals database. And I'd like to do my live goals. So there it is. In that view, I want to show that property again. And if you wanted to update that on all of them, go to the main database and edit them there. Hide the database title maybe. But it's currently not filtered. So the final job you need to do is go in to your filter view, open the rules and add a new filter and add a filter where review overdue is checked. And there you have your goals. We could check it by jumping to goals, just resetting this goal so that it's last review date is old. So you can see that it's overdue and we should then see it turn up. Wonderful. There is your weekly review system that you can jump into whenever you need to. If you have live goals, you may want to remember to go and update them to make sure they have an active review date. So to do that, jump to your goals settings, 
jump into the existing goal and make sure these two items are filled in. Otherwise, you won't see them update. All right, well, thank you very much for watching this little bonus video on the weekly review. And if you want to learn more about it, make sure you check out uh, David Allen's book, Getting Things Done. One sec. This book, uh, as it will help you do everything you need to do around learning the weekly review. So make sure you check that out if you want to. All right, I will see you on the next video. I will continue to post more of them in the guide as they are you know, listed within that online guide. So if you do want to pop back here and there, there'll be more information for you. All right, see you later. Bye.